Ah, I see. You are looking a bit peaky today. I think you need another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. I think for me, one of the most important things I've learned and experienced through this is my mind is a lot calmer. And you know, I've been in this apartment by myself for three months and I'm actually shocked at how positive my mindset has been. If, I don't think if I hadn't have researched Islam and got to know Islam better and just really understood it more, I don't think I would be in this position. I think I would be in a very negative mindset. I'm very peaceful, I'm very happy. But even though I'm alone, I'm never truly alone because I have Allah right by my side. Now I feel like I have a huge sense of security and peace of living and I really do feel like I'm on this planet for a purpose. Corona. It's led to a lot of uncertainty and insecurities frankly. But it has got us pondering upon some of the more deeper questions like what am I doing here? Is there something more out there? And of course the favourite of the BBC and Sky Are you okay? Are you okay? There's only so much TikTok gaming and memes can do before we get tired of escaping these integral questions. One such person is a British travel vlogger Jay Palfrey. He's visited a lot of Islamic countries. I started researching Islam because I wanted to understand the life of the people that I met when I was traveling. And learnt about the culture with an open mind. I'm a lot more open-minded. Don't get me wrong, I was never mean or offensive to anyone, but learning about Islam, it's, it's led me to understand people and their way of life a lot more. Which is understandably difficult considering the amount of time and effort the media gives to push across the boogeyman Muslim narrative. And no, I didn't pick this out of my pocket. There are studies that back up this statement. And of course, press watchdogs as well. He was particularly influenced by Ramadan, yeah, or Ramadan. For those of you that are like, what? what's Ramadan? What's he doing with his mouth? It's called Tajweed. No, it's not the type that you smoke. You disgusting person. It's the, uh, just forget it. Just, just realize that Ramadan, yeah. I think Ramadan for me was the pivotal turning point in my research, in my learning and me discovering about this incredible religion. And he used this time well by going to the source itself which is the Holy Quran. There's plenty of recitations here on YouTube and he was listening and posting his reactions online as well. That hit me a lot harder than anything else I've ever heard. I need a minute, one sec. And then, of course, he finally took the step and he accepted Islam. Welcome to the family, brother. Woohoo! And you also that are watching that haven't taken the step, if you need any help, I'll put a link in the description. Hopefully, that should point you in the right direction. All right, so I gained three main lessons from this guys, yeah? I think lesson number one is, I think considering he accepted Islam because he went and sat with Muslims and he saw Muslims applying their religion in Ramadan and being more active on social media and whatnot and being proud of their faith, it proves the point. The best da'wah is practical da'wah. Da'wah through actions. You may not be a big debater. You may not know the amazing arguments of contingency and kalam and all of that, but what you can do is implement the religion and practice it. A person may not accept Islam straight away, but it will plant the seed in their mind such that they'll go home and be like, wow, that's remarkable. Lesson two, I really like the fact that a lot of people that have embraced Islam they do go to the source itself. They do travel. So I guess with these two things, I would say don't rely on BBC and Netflix to tell you about Islam. And it does help to travel nowadays. Very cheap tickets to Turkey, Morocco 
and all of that. And number three is don't forget to support the converts. It doesn't mean overburdening them with books and knowledge. Yeah, read this. Yeah, read that as well. Yeah, you got to know this. You got to start doing this from today. Learning about new religion and learning a new way of life is very difficult and it's very overwhelming when you have that much information coming through your head and through your headspace. No, supporting just means being there. Yeah, just just being there as a friend. And yeah, even if you're watching and you've been a convert for a very long time, or if you guys um, come across uh, converts and reverts, I would say, yeah, it's not all about just plowing people with knowledge. Giving your time and being there is very important as well. So I'll leave the link for the full video that Jay did in the description. Don't forget the people that have converted, even if it be you know they've been convert for three four years or or ten years or or however long it may be just because they're not the the fresh convert on the block doesn't mean that they need to be sidelined if you're watching and you've come across my video for the first time definitely check out my channel inshallah it will help you on your journey in fact converts and reverts are one of the inspirations for this channel because i wanted to have something to keep people practicing as well yeah not just getting people into the religion, but keeping people onto the religion. Until next time. I just want to say thank you so much again for the support. Thanks for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you very soon. Stay happy and stay safe. Asalaamu Alaikum.